I just paid for a guide. I don't want a guide, mate. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't want a guide. He's not getting in my car, mate. I'm not letting the Filipino. I don't know get in my car. Sorry, mate. It's not happening. So, no guide. No one's getting in my car. So, just pissed off, Bob. No stranger is getting in my car. He's not getting in the car. Something. Yeah, I don't like Peter Strangers getting in my car. I don't like how it's a volcano. I mean, mate. Getting in the car. It's a volcano, mate. Okay. I don't want, I don't know that guy and I don't want bloody uh you so know he's guiding. It's Osama bin Laden over there getting in my car, mate. It's like Osama bin Laden. The girl said it's mandatory, what do you want me to do? Sure. Let's make it Guide to go up to the volcano? Come on mate, this is a scam bro. This is a scam. The government sanctioned scam bro. We need a guy. We can't drive up here on our own. Come on, mate. This is bullshit. This is jobs for the boys, mate. This is jobs for the boys. It's crazy. I don't like interacting with Filipinos. Listen, listen. I don't like interacting. I don't like interacting with Filipinos, right? I certainly am not letting a Filipino in my car, mate. Some car, listen. Some Filipino beggar is not getting in my car, mate. Right? He's gonna be like, oh, give me money, or oh, my my sister, oh, my sister has an operation. Nah, it's just all scam shit in the Philippines, mate. It's all scam shit in the Philippines. I don't want a f***ing tour guide, mate. Well, it's mandatory, so you can't do anything. If you if you didn't want it, you should have done it. Listen, this guy time. is going to be hitting us up. Scam, scam, scam. He's not going to work with us. Yeah. He's going to do... I don't want him in my car, bro. He's, it's hard. It's listen, your car. listen, listen. No, no, no. He car. wanted to come in my no, car. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Right. He said listen, they all have I did not put myself in a situation where I have to deal with these guys like scam. I want to be able to get in my car and not have him. No, no, not have him refuse. Oh, I can't get out of my car. Oh, my sister's sick. I look, bro. It's still my first day. I've been coming since 1997, right? Listen, I know. Listen, I know. Not to end any transactions with Filipinos like this, right? Um, I just, I just know not to end any transactions with Filipinos like this because they try and scam you, right? Guarantee you, he will ask for okay, more money. I guarantee a, you. Just have a, can you just have a good day and have the strength? Sure, again? sure. And not be you always being negative about things. It's not being negative, it's man. Always, I just don't want to put myself in. Listen, you don't let anyone in this car who's a beggar, Is right? Is he in here? He's not in Maybe here. you're gonna let him in. He's working there. No, he's not. He said they don't get in the cars, they have their own motorcycle. Yeah, cool. The guide people. Always yeah, ups okay, get upset okay. straight away. Like you don't even ask about details. That's because the Filipinos the scam us, mate. They keep coming back here. Good point, mate. Or maybe Why I shouldn't come back. back. Maybe I shouldn't here. come back. My god, you have no trust on anything. You keep coming back here. This is the uh this is the thing. But does it look like we need a tour guide to come up here? Like, come on, mate. Like, this is the local bar Listen, okay. listen. The local barangay, the mayor, has gone, let's get a cash grab. Let's make sure that we get someone to have a tour guide. They can't go up there on their own. So, come on, mate. Relax. There you go. So, there's the volcano. Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll take some photos with you. So that's the uh, Mount Basan volcano. There you go. So, there you go, Mount Basan volcano. Check it out. Oh, boy's got a drone. and just go for cash now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here you go. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Wow, that was a scam. Right, I've come out as a scam, right? I've had a scam, right? Love it or not? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I've only seen this on TikTok. I don't really know what to expect. So he drove us up 400 meters of road. We so it was 50. So we paid 100. So uh, 50 pesos each to enter. That's fine. And then 170 pesos for that guy, no, which it's is not. well, it is. We paid environmental fee. We paid parking fee. 
his was 50 pesos. Right. Okay. The Turkish 50 pesos. Right. It's such a scam, mate. The, the Filipino government, anything, any beach or anything, they, they, they'll sell it off. They, they try to. They, you think this place is good, right? Oh, I'm going to go here, beaches, blah, blah. You've got to pay to get on the beach. You've got to pay to look at the volcano. It's just like, and then you've got to deal with someone who's going to be have the hand out. Oh, where's my tip? Oh, I'm so poor. Oh, my sister. My sister's dying, you know. Um, or, or my, you know, uh, <laughs> or... Oh, my sister's in the last year of college, or my mum's sick, or, you know, it's just always like that. But well, he didn't, because I didn't let him, I didn't give him the chance, right? But it's kind of always the way, right? Sorry, I know this seems really cynical. This seems like really no, cynical. cynical. I am, because I don't like to be scammed, and I don't like it's to... It's not about being scammed, Ian. We're going to try and go to these places, Ian. We don't know what, what is it there. Like, you, you can't always be like this, Ian. Like, you, listen, you go on a tour, listen, you when you come here, when that. you come here, when you, when listen, if feast, I go on a tour, right? When there are feasts to pay, you, you, you just know. I oh, feast to pay to, to look at a river? Come on, what a load of bullshit. This, this, this place was a scam. This you place is a scam. Country, this place is a complete scam, but, mate. Okay, right? You want to do, uh, don't look, look, may I, have we go own. up there, you, you just couldn't pull over on the side of the road and look at the river. Can't pull over on the side of the road look at the river and not be 270 pesos. Uh, cheaper. This place is a scam, mate. Right? I'm telling you, this place is a scam. Anywhere where they go, oh, there's a river, there's a lookout point. We're going to charge. It's just so douchey, mate. Yeah, I just want it so douchey. If we like this, we should just go home, like, go, just go to malls and stuff, and not do this touristy stuff. No, I don't mind. I just didn't well, want him getting in the car. You're mine. No, no. Listen, uh, listen. You're the, mine. You're absolutely listen, mine. Listen, listen. I, I don't mind living, paying an environmental fee. Ran, listen, listen. Hours. I don't mind paying an environmental fee, right? I don't mind, it's just when they give me a Filipino who is 100% going to pitch me for money. Watch my videos. People just come up to me and say, we need money, we need money, right? So Filipinos think when they see a white person that they have a right to money, right? That, that's, what they, that's what they believe. Look, tell me, listen, expats, tell me I'm wrong, Some bro. Some people tell are me just wrong. trying to work decently, okay, Ian? Yeah. They're just trying to work decently. This, you don't know the story of every people for you to be this cynical about them. I'm not talking about the individuals, I'm talking about the structure. There's a structure set up, it's like the bar structure. Well, you know the structure, why do you keep coming back? No, no, here? I didn't know the structure. You think you I, do. if you'd said, oh, you've let's, let's go, so listen, long. if you'd said to me, let's go to a volcano and we have to get a guide, I'd be like, nah, I didn't say, nah, I didn't know that. Nah. How will I know? Have I been here before? Yeah, well, it's just research, mate, it's just research. I'm to go on a group tour, but anything where there's an individual guide, oh, want. my sister's sick, oh, my mum's sick. You don't want to my, uh, yeah, or, or, or the other one they tell you, the other one they tell you, and this has happened to me thousands of times, right? Oh, oh, my sister is in the last semester of college, she's about to graduate, but she needs money to graduate. Can you loan us money? We'll give it back to you. Come on, you brother. You gone to a group, I think, just getting yeah. in the shuttle. I'm happy to do to. toy shit. I just don't want to be exposed to. to an individual Filipino. Yeah, I to get on the shuttle. You didn't want yeah. to. Yeah, I didn't want to, you know. Balasam, mate, and this way. Um, okay, use it. Mate, I'm not being like this for nothing. If I went to America, I wouldn't be like this. Or I went to Canada or Australia, I'm not like this, right? But um, but in the Philippines, when you have an individual tour guide, he's gonna be trying to scam you. He, I've been coming here since 1997, mate. You know how many people tried to scam me? Like, um, it's like thousands. Well, it's, it, it will be one in a hundred tour guides that doesn't ask you for money. One in a hundred, right? If you just, so you stay away from them, right? You stay away from them. Bali, right? In Bali, you'll get a jet ski, right? You'll get a jet ski, and you walk to your jet ski, and the taxi driver will go, "Oh, I bought him here," and the price will go from twenty dollars to hundred. They're like twenty dollars, and then the guy will go, "I bought him here," and then it'll be like a hundred dollars. And I'll say, "I don't know that guy, mate. He didn't bring any bring me here." And they'll follow you to all the vendors, making sure the vendor puts the price up. So I literally punched on with a few uh, a few tour guides in Bali. I'm like, "Fuck off, mate! Like you little scammer, putting all the prices up. You know, it's just yeah, it's just shocking, mate. It's just shocking." I don't want to put myself in a situation where I have confrontation and I have to put my hands on someone, right? Like, this weekend I had to put my hands on Jessica's uncle. I had to put Jessica's uncle on his ass, right? Because he was grabbing my bag, right? And he wouldn't leave me alone. He kept following me, right? I don't want to put myself in a situation where I have to put someone on their ass, right? Because they won't leave me alone, right? And, you know, letting someone into the car, a tour guide into the car, it's that's not just, that's not happening, mate. Yeah, they have their own motorcycle. Okay. It's either the, you go in a, they guide you with your motorcycle, they don't get in the car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You didn't read 
Well, I don't know. Do you think we needed a tour guide to go 400 meters like up the road? We didn't. Well, you... Ian, but if they say it's mandatory, or you don't like it. Why is it mandatory? Out. It's just a cash grab, bro. We back out, Ian. Yeah, okay. You didn't like the okay. rules. We back well, out. You should have told me. I just wanted to see it. I just want to go up and see it. Like I saw yeah, it, and now I'm out. You, okay. There you go. That's it. You vouch for it. You, you want? You, you're okay with it. We could have backed out. You guys are like, oh, you know, talk guides are fine, talk guides are fine. Listen, I'm not a tourist, mate. I live here like three, four months a year, right? Like here, Thailand, I know what to do and what not to do. And I just know the easiest way to get yourself out of stuff is to not enter into transactions with the Filipinos where um, they can either beg or they can demand money, right? Like, like I've got this mate, he went to Bali, right? He went to get a massage, right? And like six girls grabbed him and started massaging him, right? And, and then at the end, they were like, oh, okay, you've got to pay all six of us plus a tip, right? Um, and if you don't do it, we'll call the police. So it's just all these scams, they just know. So you've got to be very careful. When you're in Asia, you have to be very careful what you engage with, right? And sure as hell, never let anyone in your hotel room or car, right? Don't let a Filipino in your hotel room, unless you're with a girl and you're hooking up, right? And even then, bro, even then, mate, I've had, like, you know, there's this scam in Angeli City, right? Which, like, it's the, the hotels warn you about it. They say, listen, if you meet a girl here, they will, um, the girl will come to your room, then she'll text her friend, and her friend is a minor. Her friend will come to your hotel, and then the police are waiting. Everyone's waiting. So as soon as the minor walks in your hotel room, bang, the police show up, right? Now, they're like, oh, it's 25 years for an underage girl being in your room, right? Uh, it's just all a scam. So the hotels warn you about this scam. And that's why the hotels here, right? The hotels have a, a thing that girls can't get into the hotel if they're minors. They just won't let them in, right? Um, and basically, you have to sign in and sign out. So if a girl texts and then another minor girl wants to come, it says ID, no hotel will let them in. They implemented that because they were scamming foreigners and it'll fly eight, nine, ten grand um, to basically get out of this situation. Where you meet a girl in the bar, you have a few things. She doesn't tell you, oh, I'm a hooker. She's like, oh, I call ya, I work at a call center. I work so hard, call ya. Oh, night shift, oh, selling Americans, toilet covers, call ya, right? Then basically, um, basically, this girl comes to your apartment. She texts her underage friend and the cops are waiting. So the cops sometimes drive the underage friend there. Underage friend goes in, cops come in, bang, everyone's getting paid. So that's a, a big scam in Asia. So you gotta be careful. So two, two rules, right? Never let anyone in your hotel room, never let anyone in your car, okay? So next thing, right? My mates, right, my mates who meet girls, if they meet a good girl in a bar, they don't take that girl back to the hotel room. They hire another hotel room, like a short time hotel room. If they wanna hook up with a girl, like have a one night stand. They don't go to their hotel room. They go to another hotel room, right? So what you, you think, um, you think I'm like, Jessica, have you, did, were you and Nikki, your ex, were you not scammed? Were you not scammed with tour guides following you around, making you buy them food? Were you not scammed or not? Yeah. Uh, how many times have you been scammed with your ex? Right. Maybe you should check the, your, your phone while you're on the right, the windy roads in the mountains. If you come here, right, you don't interact with Filipinos. You eat your girl's daughter, right? You don't interact with them, mate, right? Because they're going to. You're not. You're in the Philippines. So you get your girl. Around. Listen, you get your girl to interact with the Filipinos, right? You don't interact with them, mate. That's it. Arms length. Everything's arms length. If you don't want to get scammed and don't want to get asked for money and blah blah blah, you don't interact with the Filipinos, mate. You don't interact. Unless you're at McDonald's, you don't interact with the Filipino, right? That's that's my rule. I don't want to interact with anyone. Even in Australia, I try not to interact with anyone. I have my PA do it. Like, I don't want to interact with people. I don't want to do anything, right? Um, the only interactions I have is with clients. I don't interact with people. I try not to. I try not to interact with anyone, right? Like, in the sense of I'm buying something or... The only interactions I'll have are like, if I go to McDonald's, if I go to a restaurant, right? But I really don't want to have an interaction. Even when I go to a restaurant, I'm just gonna pay the bill, right? Like, I don't want to interact with them, right? Um, you know, so the, the, that's the thing, like, if I go for a massage, I'd rather take Jessica with me and Jessica interacts with them, you know what I mean? Like, so we're there, we can't get, um, you know, ask happy endings and all that stuff. I know, mate, listen, I know I'm coming across super, super. Look, in this video, I know I come across like a bit of an asshole, right? But I've been here a long time, mate, and I just know how the world works, right? Alley, mate. See, people can fall in there, like, Jessica's passed somebody fell in there. So they're taking these environmental fees and they can't fix the gully, mate. Like, it's shocking, bro. It's shocking. They're taking these environmental fees. These gullies, mate. 
they just whoever runs this place, right? There's all they spend all this money on oh like all these campaigns for mayor and blah blah. No one can put a bloody a thing, and that is so dangerous, mate. Look, there's no street lights here at night. So many people would have fallen down there, right? And it's just no one, no one cares, mate. No one cares. So yeah, right? Jealous or not? So negative, so negative. I have a headache listening to you. Well, I have a headache speaking to you, love. Jessica will side with her own people over me, mate. I mean, you want to do touristy stuff, and then when this happens, you're this and that. You, you're so cynical. Like, it's crazy. Then you well, put everything on me like it's my fault. My I saw your fault, love. I just don't want to interact with them. Just I don't want to interact with the Filipino. Then you should have told me you didn't want to. I could have taken my well, money you know, back. Well, you know, mate. Well, now you know. Now you know. I don't want to interact with the Filipino. I wasted my money there. It's wrong. There you go. It wasn't even my money. It was All her you money. Do is I just don't want to be in a car okay, with a Filipino, I don't know. Is they take models, like, you know, there's a model where you have to go into a national park and you need a guide, it's dangerous, blah, 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 and, and they charge a fee. They see that and they go, well, we'll just do that here. But it, it's literally a 400 meter stretch of road. You have to drive up a 400 meter stretch of road and then you can't go anywhere, there's a lake, right? So, it's, but you need a guide. It's just, it's just ridiculous, mate, it's just ridiculous, you know? Such a joke with the tour guide. What's he gonna say? There's the volcano. There's the uh, there's the river. Like you couldn't even see the volcano from that spot. That was a funny thing, right? That you had to pay this money to get up to this lake, and you couldn't even see a volcano. Oh, so funny, mate. They made us get a tour guide. There's the there's the river. There's the uh, there's the volcano. You know, and of course they pay him. He got paid 50 pesos, right? So he he needs money. So he has to hard. Hard simp, hard beg for money, right? When he gets up there, that's why I still want to go through it, mate. I still want to have to hear his sob stories, and like I still want to have to, you know, hear his because he, he'll have a pitch, like they'll have a communal pitch, or why they're so hard done by, oh, can you give me money, this and that. So they'll have a communal pitch, mate. I just can't, I just don't have the energy for it. Not on a work day, mate, maybe on a Sunday, but on a work day, like today's a work day, we're just nipping out. I thought we we're nipping out to see this volcano, I have to deal with tour guides and all shit. I just don't want to do it, bro. Just have the energy for it right now. Today, today I don't have the energy for it. On a Saturday or Sunday, I'm happy to do it. Happy to pay grab ass on a Saturday or a Sunday. But on a weekday, a work day, when I nip out for lunch and maybe just go over and look at a volcano, like work in the morning, nip out for lunch, look at a volcano, go back and work in the evening. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that bullshit and all that. You know, like a tour guide and blah, blah. I don't have time for it, mate. Okay, so they're still on the roof. I just saw another one where they were. Um Oh, was a baby as well. Uh, so many people. I saw another one, there was two people on the roof. So there was like, there's probably like six people on that trike, it's crazy. So there's an active volcano, right love? Bolusan. What's it called? Bolusan. 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 Wow, look at that. Springs, bus. There's no McDonald's for 45 minutes, but you know, it is what it is. Salah V, you know. Beautiful mountain girl. Mountain. This is where half your family's from, right? My mom's. Yeah. Sorry. This is where the good looking half of the family's from, right? <laughs> so, I was in Junie, the guy that carries the gun, right? I don't know if you saw the video where he pulls the gun, right? And he's Yehenio, uh, he's Yehenio's, uh, Cousin, right, and um, and he basically uh, he was getting pissed off at me because I was calling Yehenyo Yehenyo, right? He was like, no, no, you need to call him Tata, which is like daddy. 
I'm like, mate, I ain't calling a grown man daddy, bro. I, I'm not calling another man daddy. I didn't even call my dad daddy. You see, I'm calling him daddy, you henyo. Come on, man, I ain't calling no one daddy, bro. You know, relax. This is her neck, right? So we're gonna go get a massage. Um, you know me, brother, I'm always down for a massage, right? So just because her neck, she's gonna go get a massage, right, lovey? People, they live without power uh, or water and they have these pumps you see them go to these pumps they're carrying the water back blah blah and, and then you they rather than carry the water back you'll see them queuing up and washing at the water pump they actually wash at the water pump but they're washing t-shirts because they're quite uh well the girls are quite conservative so they wash in t-shirts um but this is like third world mate it's third world but, you know the thing is i'd love to start a charity where we went and gave everyone a, a power generator but the thing is to be honest with you they would pawn that power generator in two in, in, in two weeks, mate. They'd be like, "Oh, we can get some money. Let's pawn the power generator, right, love?" Yeah. If you gave. It, I'm pretty sure if you get. Look, mate. I've I've helped poor families in the past, right? I've given them laptops and all Maybe kinds. Of, families like that, but well, look, I've helped poor families in the past. The kids kind of study. I say the kid, "How are your grades going? Oh, where's the laptop? Oh, we pawned it." And you'll give them a laptop, right? And then they'll pawn it, right? Family, yeah. yeah, I know, but it's, look, it's not just one family. Yeah, listen, Jessica, Jessica, listen. I used to buy shoes for the beggars, right? I'd come the next day, the, 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 their shoes are gone, right? So it's like you, yeah, I mean, unless you're buying them food or something instantly disposable, uh, it's you kind of tough. what they need, not what they Yeah. Give what they need. Well, they probably can't need power and water, right? Everyone needs power and water. Power and water's a big thing, right? Look at this gully, mate. This is a bloody... Oh, it's just outside because if you run in this gully... Look at that, mate. You know how many cars and motorbikes and people have tipped into this gully? Many, many, many cars and motorbikes have tipped into this gully. Well, just to the balance of probability. I, I guarantee... so white, how No, people... In the night, there's no lights here, Jessica. You don't think people are running off the road into that gully? Of course they have problems. People, how would you even know it's here? There's no street lights at night. How would you even know the gully's here? I guarantee you, many people have tipped in. Not enough that the government said, oh, you know what, we should probably close the gully, put some grates over it. So all they have to do is put some grates over it, mate. No one's dying, you know what I mean? Like, explain to Jessica, you don't overtake on blind corners and you don't overtake on blind hills. That means if you can't see uh, the other side of a hill, you don't overtake, because you could, there could be a car overtaking. You can't see around a corner, you don't overtake, you know what I mean? That, that, that's kind of the rules, right, love? Yeah. Mate, we had so many close calls here, like near, near accidents, so many near accidents, right? It's crazy. But you know, the Philippines, uh, you can fix anything for a couple hundred bucks, so that's why you've got to be a bit chilled out. As long as it's not like a head on collision, though, we nearly had a few heads on head on collisions. Okay, so these are the natural springs. Volcano, brother. Oh, here. Yeah, it's not government. Okay, is this is some kind of tourist tour volcano place. Oh, man, I'm gonna work today. I was just kind of get a massage. I don't want to go on a tourist tour, you know what I mean? So it's Thursday, I'm at work. I, uh, yeah, I need to get some work done. So it costs 50 pesos, which is like under $2 Australian. Um, I don't know. This is always fees, mate, in the Philippines. But these are guides. Check it out. Mate, how nice is this? Please pay at the counter. Mate, how nice is this place? Check out the coconut trees. It's a bit, it's a bit like the Northern Territory. The Northern Territory's got a few of these kind of places with the croc tours and stuff. Alright, so five person lunch. Good for eight people. Ah, you can see. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. I'm not a fan of Filipino food, mate. I just, I don't want, I love Thai food, but it's just, yeah. 
bit hit and miss the Filipino food. I think in your town, do you have a Filipino restaurant? You probably don't, right? So, unless there's a lot of Filipinos living in town. Hey, love, how are you? What's up? The fee for what? Okay. Well, where exactly are we paying a fee for? Place and they charge a massage, two fifty half body paddling. Right, love is good. Clack, clack, love, clack. Yeah. Entrance fee, parking, environmental fee. Yeah. And they said that the guide is included. I don't want a guide. Okay. No, 270. That's Do we included. have to go on the bus or not? I'm not sure. Ask him, ask him. Ask him, Mara. Take the car. Take the car? Yeah. You want to take the car? Yeah, it's out of the car, yeah, for sure. You want to take the shot? No, no, not really. Hello. Hello. Oh, we don't need you to come. Sorry. Sorry. Love, I'm not. There's no guy. There's no room for a guy. Sorry, we have no room. Yeah. Oh, Just gonna have a look around. He's already paid. Uh, not, there's no room in the car, love. There's no room in the car. The guys are getting come. He's not coming, love. He's not coming. He's not coming. Guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.